Well hello there everybody and welcome to the latest video today. This one is going to take me some time so um, please if you like the video subscribe down below and next week I'm starting a new vote as well with um, all the legendary garments to see which ones you guys like the most that will be done in the discord I'll link that down below as well. Um, this video today um, in the discord channel I actually created a vote and um, put all the legendary animals in there with pictures and gave everybody a chance to vote three times on the ones I thought the easiest and three times on the ones I thought they were hardest um, and essentially what I've done is I've took the total amount for each one of the easy votes and then subtracted the hard votes so to work this out the higher the number for each animal the easier they are and the lower the number is the harder they are I've got it all worked out time to get this video done I hope you enjoy okay then so in joint 17th place we have the midnight poor coyote with 17 plus votes and two minus votes and I put my own personal um, plus vote on this as well so that brings it to 17 I have lost track of how many times I've seen this these are dime a dozen what we call peasant legendaries um, so common due to the fact that it's on one of the main delivery routes for long-range deliveries right near rig station you're going to bump into this one often, and once you've bumped into it enough, you basically don't even interact with them anymore. That's about all I can say. They're, they're so common, and I'm not surprised this has made joint 17th at the bottom of the list. Also in joint 17th, then, we have the Tatanka Bison with plus 17 votes and minus 2 votes. And this is another one where you're usually going to catch this on long-range deliveries. Right in the middle of the heartlands, it's a common place for transitioning through and traveling across you're bound to see this one at some point there is the occasional bug where you get the winyan in the tatanka spot as well but anyway this one is very common i've seen this one so many times i don't bother with it anymore it's really not worth it okay okay then so at 16th place all on its own we have the azula elk with plus 16 votes and minus two votes making it 14 this one's another common one for long range deliveries bump into this one all the time Nothing to shout about. The garment's pretty rubbish as well compared to the others. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not surprised this made number 16th on the list. In 15th place then we have the Sun Gator. Now this one's got plus 15 votes and minus 4, giving it a total score of plus 11. Um, I put my own personal plus vote on this as well. Um, I've spawned in at Le Grasse at the Fast Travel so many times and had that gold question mark. Must have seen this at least 20 times, really not bothered by it anymore, it gets completely ignored by me and probably many other players, hence why it got number 15th. Just rubbish really, the garment looks okay but it's been out a long time as well, you know, it's, it's so common. Here we are then at joint 14th, we have the Marble Fox. This is another one that's not really anything to um, write home about. Basically, you can get this fairly easy if you've not done the cross fox mission recently from Harriet or encountered the Ota fox. Spawning at Coulter, now and again, it just shows up. And the problem with this one is it actually affects the Winyan Bison spawn. If you get that, you're probably going to be on cooldown for the Winyan. So it becomes a bit problematic, but I put my own personal plus on this as well. Um, just because I've seen it so many times, it got plus 14, minus 10 with a total of plus 10 as a score. Yeah, really common. The garment looks good though, so I've got to give it some credit for that at very least. Also then at joint 14th is the Snowbook with plus 14 and minus 4 with a total score plus 10. This one's also very common. Very often you can fast travel into Manzanita Post and you'll get that legendary question mark pop up. Really easy to find um, if you haven't done the Shadow Book Harriet mission. Yeah, really easy, easy to hunt as well, but the garment does look fantastic, but that's not what's being rated here today. Remember to join the Discord down below for the garment vote next week, okay? Right here then at joint 13th, we have the Aguga Cougar, plus 12, minus 3, total score plus 9. Now, when it came to rating these, it was a case of difficulty to spawn and difficulty to hunt. This is you know, medium on the hunt, sort of difficulty but it spawns in so frequent anytime you're like traveling near blackwater or you've got your camp in the great plains there's a good chance this is going to show up 
very common it's another one that gets ignored regularly by me yeah it's it, i'm not surprised this made joint 13th either and the next one then at joint 13th we have the wapka bore um we actually nicknamed this the Krapka bore because it really is rubbish. It's got plus 11 and minus 2 with a total score of plus 9 for joint 13th place. This really is rubbish. The garment is horrible. Um, it spawns so common as well on that sort of crossing near the south of tall trees. Really trash, legendary. Yeah, not even to be worth bothered with unless you want to fill your compendium or get the garment. Yeah, enough said about this one. Let's move on. At number 12 then, all on its own, we have the Ota Fox with a plus 10 and minus 2, total score plus 8. This one is getting towards the medium range of things now, just um, to the west or north of roads. Comes in often enough, not too difficult to find, but the spawn area is quite big, hence why some people might have trouble spawning it in. Really not difficult to hunt though, so I think that's why it got such high votes on there. I did have problems with this early on, but... You know, comes in often, you know what I mean? I don't really bother with it unless there's a little bit of space in the wagon, which you know there isn't, but never mind. On to the next one then. Here we are then at joint 11th place. We have the Chalkhorn Ram with a plus 8 and minus 3 for a total score of plus 5. This one's getting on towards medium again. Um, can be fairly tough to spawn. The, the area it spawns in is actually quite large, um, all the way from kind of wapiti ish all the way over to um the east side of north amberino there i know a few people have had problems with this especially when they first released but you know you can get these fairly easy to medium now no problem at all also then 11th place um we have the zz beaver um, this one has got a plus 10, minus 5, um, total score of plus 5 there. The ZZ Beaver, because it's right out the way at Owen Gila, it's not a difficult hunt as such, but there is a chance it can get in the water and actually slip under the water. Just a quick tip for you, when you approach it, approach it from the water and drive it inland, and then you won't have any issues of it ducking under and just disappearing. Um, yeah, it's it's not too difficult to get this one. Right up then at joint 10th, we have the Onyx Wolf with a plus 10 and minus 6. And I put my own minus vote on this as well. It's got a score of plus 4. Um, this one can be tough to spawn. It's a difficult hunt as well if you're not prepared for it. It does have a gang of wolves with it. And there is the occasional bug where it actually spawns underground, which really annoys people. It's happened to me several times as well when I've gone to go uh, hunt this when I've had the question mark. Hence why I've put my own score on it, just because of that frustration. This one can be tough and tough to spawn. Um, getting to like middle range now joint 10th it deserves it it probably deserves a bit higher in my opinion but never mind on to the next one also at joint 10th then we have the moon beaver with a score of plus 10 and minus 6 total score plus 4 and this one's not too difficult to spawn i think the issues that people may have had is it ducking under the water like we was talking about a second ago with the zz beaver there and that can be very frustrating that's happened to me once or twice with the moon and the zz um, beavers but otherwise not too difficult just drive it inland from the water and you should be fine right here then we have three animals at joint ninth position and we'll start with the night moose with a plus seven and minus four total score plus three this one did give people a little bit of trouble in the beginning but now if you're anywhere up near brandywine drop all that area there no real issues with this i've had a couple of random spawns where i've not been looking for it as well but apparently a few people have had problems with that so yeah that's that's about all i can say for that one following up real quick then another joint ninth the mazakuga with a plus eight and minus five total score plus three and i'm really surprised this one wasn't higher up the list i know a lot of people who've had problems with this i know people who've been hunting it they've been killed and it's disappeared the spawn area is massive. I really thought this was going to be kind of top five at very least. But there it is at number ninth. Apparently it's me who's had most of the problems. That's all good though. Um, on to the next one. And the last one then in joint ninth place is the Snowflake Moose with a plus eight, minus five, total score plus three. And I've not really had any issues with this one at all. The spawn area is quite small. It's not difficult to hunt. It doesn't get aggressive in any way. Um... Yeah, but ninth place apparently. The vote is what it is. Um, 
yeah, that, that's it. The garment does look pretty cool. I'm just disappointed about the, the size of the antlers, but enough about that. On to the next one. At eighth place then, all on its own, we have the Gabbro Horn Ram. Plus seven, minus five, total score, plus two. And yeah, I've not had too many issues with this one myself, but once again, the spawn area for this is absolutely huge. Um, I can understand why people have had issues. Um, not really a tough hunt, but maybe tough to spawn for some. Yeah, that's <laughs> it is what it is. It's at number eight. Anyway, let's go. Number seventh then, all on its own, we have the Katata Elk. Plus six, minus five, total score plus one. Now, I have had difficulties with this one myself, especially early on. And I know this one released with all the um, legendaries in the, in the very beginning. I had a lot of trouble with this. Spawn area is huge. Not such a tough hunt, but the spawn area is big and can be quite difficult to spawn in. So I understand why this got so high up the list. Um, I would agree with seventh place. That's That's pretty accurate, I'd say. Okay, on to the next one. Coming right up then, we have three in sixth place. So joint sixth to begin with, we have the Kogi Boar with a plus seven and minus eight. So that's a minus one. We're getting into minus scores now. Remember, lowest is hardest. Um, I have had trouble with the Kogi Boar. I think I've only seen about three or four, and I've been hunting legendaries for hundreds of hours um, at least a hundred hours anyway, and I've only seen three or four Kogi boars. They are hard to spawn in, you know, not difficult to hunt, but difficult to spawn. Definitely. I have had issues with this. So bear that in mind. If you go looking for this, it will be tough to spawn in. Okay. So on to the next one. Also in joint sixth, then we have the mud runner buck with a plus five and minus six total score minus one. And I've not really had many issues with this i've filled the compendium with it not really bothered occasionally it shows up on deliveries but when you're trying to force spawn it by being in an area i suppose there could be difficulties but apparently people have had problems with this one hence why it's in joint sixth um not getting much love unfortunately but that that's about it for that one also then at joint sixth is probably one that's going to cause um a bit of debate in the in the comments section hopefully um, we have the Ridgeback Spirit Bear with a plus 10 and minus 11 for a total score of minus 1. Now this one is quite baffling. Um, that is quite um, a difference in scores there for the pluses and minuses. Some people have had no problem with it and a lot of people have had problems with it. Hence why it's balanced out at a minus 1. Um, yeah, I've not had too many difficulties with this. I think I've had like two random spawns of this, but I usually do set me camp in Big Valley. I can understand why people have issues with this, um, but just keep trying to look for it. Eventually it will show up. There is a large spawn area, but, you know, just keep looking. It will show up. Just beware of cooldowns and that as well. So in joint fifth place, we have the Aweezer Bear with a plus six, minus nine. For a total score of minus three. Now I've had a couple of random spawns of this. It can be a tough hunt though. It does have other bears with it. And even when it's sedated. It still comes running at you. And tries to kill you for at least 10-15 seconds. Um, and it takes a lot of ammo to put down as well. Um, I understand why this would be joint fifth on the list. Um, definitely can be tough to hunt. And you know a little bit hard to spawn as well. Another large area animal. Um, yeah, I understand why this is joint fifth. Also joint fifth then we have the Red Street Coyote with a plus five, minus eight for a minus three score. And that one's kind of baffling to me. Um, I've encountered five or six of these, just not even looking. And, you know, when these first was introduced to the game, I had both the Coyotes within about 40 minutes with help. Of course, somebody else spawned the Red Streak in for me. But... Not really sure why this got fifth, but apparently people are having problems. Yeah, the only thing I can think of is the large spawn area, um, and that makes it tough. And it's also around that bit as well where there's all the canyons and stuff, and it runs down there, and it can slip away, I guess. Yeah, a little bit baffled as to why it's number five, but it is where it is. That's it. The vote is the vote. Up next then in joint fourth, we have, first of all, the Ghost Panther with a plus five, minus ten. 
total score minus five now i did start the vote um, roughly six hours after these were released and i let it run for at least 48 hours so people could jump in and change the votes if they needed to um, but i know even to this day people are still having problems spawning in this ghost panther kind of overlaps with the sun gator spot as well which can make things a bit tricky if you get that spawn first but the ghost panther is proving difficult. The hunt is terrible as well. It has at least two other um, panthers with it. I nearly said cougars there, but it has two other panthers with it. Can be a tough hunt and tough to spawn. Completely understand why it's fourth, and I'm surprised it's not higher on the list, but never mind. Next up then we have uh, joint fourth, the Tika Gator with a plus five and minus ten for a total score of minus five. Now, I'm surprised this one's so high on the list as well. Um, I've had a couple of these random, um, and I've ignored them, um, and I've had a few where I've been looking for them. <laughs> Number four, it, it's fine, but people have said to me before they just can't get a Tika Gator to spawn in, and that's what the votes reflect right here. So um, it is what it is. It can be a bit of a tough hunt, especially if you go in the water. Um, you have a ton of other alligators that can like just appear out of nowhere and eat you like in one bite. Yeah, I, I, su I suppose I understand why it comes in fourth. Okay, next up. Here we are then. We're into the final three. In third place, we have the Nightwalker Panther with a plus three and minus nine for a total score of minus six. That one's not getting a lot of love. Um, the Nightwalker Panther, in my opinion, probably should be um, below the Ghost Panther in the list of toughness, but it is what it is. Um, the Nightwalker Panther is usually on its own. Um, yeah, that... Th that's a little bit baffling why the ghost is not third and, you know, position switch. But I appreciate everyone's votes and uh, how they're finding getting these. So third place it is then for the Nightwalker. And in second place, we have the Winyan Bison with plus eight, minus 15 for this. So total score of minus seven. And this one got my own personal dislike as well. Um... I have had problems with this, especially in the beginning, and I know a lot of people still have problems with this Winyan Bison. Um, hopefully you can get lucky and it spawns in the Heartlands. The main problem is when you spawn in um, at the fast travel at Coulter, because there's no other fast travels nearby, you have to come in at Coulter basically to get there quickly. There's a good chance you're going to snag the Marble Fox, and that's going to ruin your spawn rates for the Winyan. Also, if you're doing Harriet missions for the pay to bison pelt, that could be affecting the cooldown as well. It has a large spawn area. It has a, a whole gang of other um, bison with it, which can cause problems. I've heard a few people um, tell me that they started hunting the bison and they got charged by the herd and the, the winyan ran away. Yeah, people have had problems with this, including me. I can understand totally why this is so high on the list. Okay, let's get into number one. And at number one, with plus three and minus 11 for a total score of minus eight, and this got my own personal um, dislike on this as well, is the Emerald Wolf. At number one, we have the Emerald Wolf. Now, I have had problems with this. It can be a tough hunt as well. It generally has a gang with it of other wolves, or a pack of wolves, should I say. The spawn area for this is pretty big. I cannot even count the amount of times I've done laps around O'Cree's run and all around north of um, Emerald Station and all that lot. This can be a tough spawn. It can be a tough hunt as well if you're not like sure of what you're doing. Um, I've spent many hours with this not spawning in. It can be very frustrating. Um, but the pelt does look fantastic, so it kind of keeps you driving along for that. Um, yeah, number one's the Emerald Wolf. Um, so real quick then I just want to thank everybody in the discord for doing the votes for these and you know participating in my video schemes and helping me out in the game you know it is much appreciated I'm having a lot of great chats with people in there um, for anybody watching if you've not joined the discord um, server of mine please do it's linked below next week once the Awakta Pan for mission releases I'm going to be doing a vote with all um, of the garments there's 42 in total 
um, and you'll be able to vote on your favourites and least favourites and I'll do a similar video to this where we go through them all, discuss them and um, yeah, we'll have a lot of fun like that. If you've made it this far, um, I assume you've enjoyed the video. There is going to be much more content like this coming soon, so please subscribe if you haven't done already. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you've enjoyed um, the video and I'll catch you all in the comments down below to let me know which ones you found hard or easy. And um, yeah, we'll have a good discussion down there. Okay, I hope you have a great day everybody. Catch you all again real soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.